guys, welcome to uh, today's episode of Hands On, our weekly live DIY show. Uh, today, I am gonna be showing you how to make a seashell jewelry box. It's very simple, it's very fun. All you need is a simple wooden box, uh, some seashells, either from the craft store or the beach, uh, hot glue, pearls if you want them, and ribbon if you want them. Um, so it's very simple and uh, really the kind of box you need is just uh, plain and kind of sanded down. Oh, my name's Cassie. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Cassie Morris. I'm an editor here at Little Things. Uh, I'm also a host, so some might recognize me, but uh, I'm not a crafting expert, which you might soon learn, but this is so easy, uh, that's okay, you don't have to be. So you can either get some seashells from the beach or the craft store, like I said. Um, and uh, you can do whatever you want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with picking, I'm kind of making this up as I go, guys, so stick with me here. Um, I've picked out kind of like the most eye-catching shell. I'm gonna start there. And uh, you can kind of plan out what you're gonna do or you can kind of just make it up as you go. Um, I'm kind of making this up, so hopefully this turns out okay. Now the thing you need to know about seashells is that they obviously come in all different shapes and sizes. So gluing might be a bit of an issue. Um, you might have to use a little bit of patience to get it to stick. Um, I'm using a hot glue gun. And the one that I've chose to use here is kind of flat, but it seems to be sticking. Um, and next I'm just, so yeah, it's, it should be a little zen. It should be easy, nothing to stress out about. Um, this is a really good idea for the kids or the grandkids. Just be careful with the uh, hot glue gun. Uh, because it doesn't require too much skill, really. It's just, it's, and I think it's a really cute idea for how to capture your memories at the beach. Um, but if you don't have a beach nearby or you haven't visited one in a while, but you just love the beach, you can go to any craft store and pick up some shells. And uh, guys, be sure to leave your comments. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know, do you love the beach? I cannot wait to go. I'm going to Polly's Island with my husband's family in August and uh, I'm so excited. It's been a very long time since I've gone to the beach. But if you like to walk along the beach and collect your seashells, this is a great idea. Uh, Dina says, cool, I would probably paint the box first. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, this is, you know, we went with like a plain box, but you can definitely paint it any way you see fit. Spray paint it or you know, put stickers on it, let the kids get crazy, use your imagination. Uh, you definitely don't have to stay inside the lines here. But like I said, guys, I am not a craft expert. So if I can do this, you can do this. Um, yeah, Shauna's also agreeing that she thinks it'd be better to paint the box first. Yeah, that'd be really like a teal. Some sort of like beachy colors would be nice, right? Or what else? Like a, um, like a coral color would be pretty. Uh, so we're just gluing down some shells. Guys, if you're just joining us, um, we are making a DIY seashell jewelry box. It is so simple and it is a really nice way to keep all your beach memories. And also, um, once you're done with it, you have a great box that you can store your memories in. So here we're just kind of making this up as we go. Oh, that's a really cute idea. Sonia says, what a great gift for someone you went to the beach with, right? Such a cute keepsake. Gemma says, hi everyone. Hi Gemma. Thanks for joining us today. Paul says, whoa. Yeah, let us know if you've ever used seashells in a DIY project. Um, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of doing a pattern, but you really, you don't have to. You can do literally whatever you want. You can see our finished product in the other frame there. Um, kind of, you can do more cluttered if you want, use all of them. Uh, Paul says, this would be great to store all my broken seashells within. That's a good idea, Paul. Allison says, this is nice. Let me see, where, what other seashell do I wanna use? Yeah, so these, these conch shell shapes are really good because they're holding the, uh, the glue really, really well. The clam shells are a little trickier just because they're flat. Let me see if I, I kinda, let me see, can I pull it up once I? Nope, <laughs> that's where it stays. Let's try to squeeze in one more in this little empty space here. 
Oh, Stephanie says, I live at Glass Beach. I use shells on the soap I make. Ooh, I love handmade soap. Stephanie, I bet those are so beautiful. Um, Judy says, hi from South Florida. Judy, you probably have a lot of seashells where you live. You're probably over decorating with seashells, aren't you? I used to live in Georgia, right on the border of Florida, and uh, you see sand dollar decorations everywhere. Oh, Melinda says I made some wind chimes. That's a really good idea. Yeah, you see those a lot in gift stores, but they're so easy to make yourself. So then I'm using, I grabbed some pearls that we have. Um, this is definitely if you have little hands helping you out, which I recommend because I think kids would love this. Um, just be really, really careful because the beads are so small. So if you're using a hot glue gun, you might want to help them out with this part. But uh, oh, Stephanie says that her soaps are not only beautiful, but they're made with pure essential oils. Ooh, I bet those smell so good. I bet they leave you smelling so good. Uh, Jennifer, that's a good idea. How about putting sand in between their shells? Yeah, you have all this empty space. You can either paint it. Uh, I'm going to kind of try to fill it up. I've kind of made like a central pattern here. Uh, but yeah, some sand would be good. JoLynn says, howdy, neighbor. Hi, JoLynn. I just saw you on our morning show. Thanks for joining us here. Angela says, love it from Northeast Louisiana. Uh, Alexa says, another gift for someone you went to the beach with is you could put sand and seashells in a jar and give it to them. That's a really good idea. Yeah, I know a lot of people make um, uh, shadow boxes, which is cute. So the other thing is with the, si if you're decorating the side of the box, you know, you have to take into account the weight of the seashells and you kind of have to plan out what you're going to do. Um, so I'm going to try to put on a, a few and see if they stick, but they might take longer to, to stay. So let's see what we can do. I'd probably stick with the spiral um, conch shells, but let's see. You also want to make sure you're giving yourself clearance to open and close the box. So let's see what we can do here. You can also use ribbon, as we said earlier. Uh, oh, okay, that's sticking. Cool, all right. So guys, like I said, my name's Cassie. I'm an editor and a morning host. I'm not a craft expert, but that's what is cool about this is you don't have to be because it's so easy. And with spring coming up and soon the summer, this is a super cute idea for capturing beach memories or getting it into spirit. Oh, Judy is watching from Hawaii. Judy, I bet you have some beautiful shells. I, uh, our producer, Roxy, producer and reporter Roxy is getting married in Hawaii. She's probably on her way there now. Paul says, this is beautiful. Thank you, Paul. I think you're biased though. That's my husband, Paul. He thinks that I'm very good at crafts, even though I don't think I'm that great. <laughs> Uh, Renee says that's cool. So guys, yeah, like I said, you can do whatever you want here. You can do colored beads. Oh, you know what would be really pretty is um, uh, beach glass. You can cover your box in beach glass. Uh, really anything. Any other little trinkets that you find. JoLynn says, aloha, Judy. Uh, Betty says, my son would enjoy doing this. Handmade gifts are the best. I totally agree. I always prefer to give handmade gifts if I have the time. Um, <laughs> Yvette says, aw, oh, sweet hubby. He is sweet. He is sweet. He's very supportive in my crafting uh, experiments. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So I'm just, guys, I'm making this up as I go. You see, if you're just joining us, we're making a DIY seashell jewelry box. Ow, and I burnt myself. But you know what? That's, that's how it goes. That's okay. We're all all right. Uh, but yeah, I've glued down all my seashells. <laughs> Dina says, Paul, great job supporting your wife. You guys are sweet. Angela says, these are very nice shells. Yeah, so these are from a craft store, but like I said, you can definitely use the ones that you find on the beach, um, but you're probably not going to find something as, you know, you might, I, I hope you do, but you might not find something quite as colorful as this. Um, but, you know, also gift shops near beaches sell these. Uh, yeah, Kara says get some pretty sand on your box too. That, yeah, colored sand would be really, really pretty. Yeah, but let me know what color would you guys paint your box? I probably would have painted this a teal. Um, like I said, maybe a coral. Maybe like sunset colors. But I cannot wait to go to the beach. Do you guys go to the beach often? Uh, Betty says my son made me a necklace one year for Christmas. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, wind chimes, necklaces. You can make a lot out of seashells. Like I said, I grew up in Georgia and 
people would take sand dollars and paint on them for Christmas ornaments, which I thought was really pretty. Um, <laughs> JoLynn is asking Judy, how is the weather where she is today? It's, uh, I don't know, I haven't been outside in a while, guys. I've been making videos for you. So here we also have this border here we can do something with. I don't know if I have shells small enough, but um, hey, let's see, maybe I can fill up some of this area here. But yeah, you can just make it up as you go. Don't get too stressed about it. I think it's supposed to be relaxing. Uh, and as you're going, it can be fun to, to think about all the times you had on the beach, um, which usually are pretty good times. So I'm just rifling through to find a seashell here. Patty says, great idea. Can't wait to go to the Gulf of Mexico to get shells. Oh, that's going to be fun. I hope you have a really good time. Safe travels. All right, let's see. Oh, Cassandra, that's my name too. Cassandra says you could use aquarium gravel. That's a really good idea. Tina says, uh, I have made dream catchers and jewelry for gifts. That's a really good idea. Oh, Linda, <laughs> that's a good point. Linda says, wouldn't it be simpler to put the spot of glue on the box and then put the bead in the glue? You're brilliant, Linda. Let's give that a shot. You're right. Let's see. Yup, good idea. <laughs> Much better than what I was doing. Sonia says it looks relaxing. It is, Sonia. It's a lot of fun. But I, I like crafts that aren't, um, that don't make you stressed out, right? They're supposed to be hobbies. You're supposed to, oh, well, no, a hot glue gun's too far away. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, don't take it too seriously. Oh, uh, Kara says sea glass. Tina says she would paint hers light blue. Yeah, JoLynn says she loves the pearls. Thank you. I'm kind of getting red everywhere. All right, so I'm going to keep gluing around the sides here. But let's see. I, it, it looks a little, mine looks a little tacky. <laughs> what do you, I guess it's supposed to be, right? Seashells are supposed to be fun. Okay, maybe I'll put that one there. Will you fit? Guys, like I said, I am not a crafting expert, okay? We are making this up as we go. But I don't think you have to be an expert to do crafts, right? That's half the fun. I don't know, I don't think I have any room. Let's go ahead and do the sides. All right, so I'm kind of, I'm gluing the back of the clamshells because it's kind of really hard because they have such little surface area. They have very little surface area to, to get the glue. So I'm using the back, which might not be the prettiest. You gotta be careful because the, um, the shell is really thin here. So when you're putting it on, it's still a little, you know, it's warm from the hot glue, which, you know, hence the name. <laughs> Paul says, this would be amazing on my suitcase. Paul, we're not putting seashells on your suitcase. That's a silly idea. You're a goofball. Paul's my husband, guys. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not being mean to anyone. <laughs> I guess I kind of am, but he's my husband. Is that even mean? I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna put some pearls on the side. Oh, Paul gave me a fowny face. I'm sorry, Paul, you just can't put seashells on your suitcase, it's ridiculous. Vicky says this looks like fun. It is, it is a lot of fun, Vicky. Yeah, Angela says great memory box. Yeah, that's definitely what I would use for this. I would keep all of my, um, like if you, if you take a beach trip, which I don't do very often, I don't know about you guys, but if you take a beach trip, a special trip and you have all the receipts from the dinners you went to or like any movies you saw or the aquarium this would be a great box to keep them all in uh, keep them all in one place um, I know that in Polly's Island where we go there's a fudge shop and I like to keep little trinkets uh, Gemma says I would paint top blue bottom oh, oh the top blue and the bottom a sand color that's really pretty I'd love to see that yeah you could even do like a beach scene and make it look like these shells are just on the beach. Oh, Melanie says a starfish would be cute. That would be super cute. But make sure, the guys, when you're collecting shells at the beach, make sure that they're already dead, right? So because sometimes uh, sand dollars come up, they're still alive, and sometimes uh, starfish are still alive. So be sure to check the signs to make sure they are dead and the shells are gone are, are empty. Because um, we want to let nature. Ow! I glued myself. What was I even saying? We want to let nature be. Right? All right, so how's that looking? Okay, that looks okay. 
That looks all right. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? This is a craft that does not have to be perfect. Um, Lori says, great way to use the shells you find on the beach as a reminder of happy finds. I agree. I love this. I really do. Oh, Kama. <laughs> uh, him a lit? I'm probably not saying your name right. Put, put the pearl inside as if we just found them. Yeah, wouldn't that be like, you just imagine coming across this on the ocean. You just open it up and boop, there's a pearl. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm being silly. Okay, back to work. Very serious business here. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to fill up these spaces. It's a little tricky. It's kind of like Tetris uh, or a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> JoLynn says, stuck on your work, huh? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit obsessive which I guess could happen. I know it happens to me a lot with crafts. Uh, Karen says the box would have been neat painted seafoam green. Green, I love that color, I love seafoam. Um, definitely would have been beautiful. Shauna says it really comes together at the end. Yeah, it's hard to see it at, at first. It seems um, really empty, but when you start putting them all together, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Bonnie wants me to use a long black one. Ooh, this one? You like this one, Bonnie? Yeah, you guys tell me. Tell me which ones to use. Here, there's more in the shot. You guys tell me which one you find pretty. I'll put some more in the shot, and I will do whichever one you guys want. That yellow one's really pretty. Okay, let's see. Bonnie, where can I put this black one? Maybe I'll put it. Oh, I'm already doing that. Let's flip it around. I'll do it right here on the front. This shell is for Bonnie. There you go. Bonnie, that is your shell. Oh, Ziggy wants me to use a top yellow one. Okay, so this is hard. Again, like the, they're tricky because the surface area is limited, right? So I'm gonna have to kind of trace and hope that it sticks. Um, like I said, the conch shells thus far seem to be working the best, but those are hard to find. Those are like the prized possessions. All right, Ziggy, this is for you. There you go. Cassandra wants me to use the red one. This one? Okay, this is gonna be tricky because, all right, let's see. Because the thing you have to keep in mind is you still wanna be able to open it, right? So you gotta make sure it's like a clear passage where you can still open it. So let's see what we can do here. This is for Cassandra, who has a lovely name. Ancient Greek name. Oh, JoLynn wants me to use this one too. Okay, so let's see. Can I get it to stick? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna try. We're trying. Yes, we did it. JoLynn and Cassandra, I did it. Just for you guys. Here, I'm gonna reinforce it with a little bit more glue. There you go. So again, guys, this doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you're not, it does not have to be pristine. pristine. Oh, Colette says, wow, and not in a good way. Oh, Colette, you don't like my seashell box. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. I'm not a crafting expert. I'm just having fun. I think that if any of you guys are better than me, or even, you know, this is for anybody. Anybody can do this. You guys should give it a shot. Colette, give this a shot. I think you'll have fun. It's just a fun thing to learn and do. This is a great rainy day project. It's gonna be pretty rainy soon, at least here in New York. And so I think this is a great project when you can't get in outside to enjoy the pretty weather. Oh, Cassandra says, thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you like your show. Ooh, I have some more spirally ones. Thank you. Look what just came to me, you guys. A messenger brought me these beautiful shells. It's not a messenger, it's my producer, Kathy. <laughs> so, okay, this is perfect. Oh, lovely, I love it. I'm so excited. They look like unicorn horns, don't they? I love it. I'm gonna use all of these. <laughs> this is gonna be so tacky. That's okay. Oh, Jolynn, that's a good idea. You could put some on the top inside the lid. That's a really good idea. Yeah, maybe I'll do that, cause I, oh, Kara, that's so sweet. You are doing an outstanding job. Thank you. I love your support. I appreciate it. That is so kind. Okay. I gotta preserve some of my unicorn horns because they're so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, Danny is asking a question in French that I'm, I think she's asking, is it possible to have your site, to view your site in French? Can I read it in French? Should I give it a shot? Possible d'avoir votre site en français? Uh, peut-être, peut-être, uh, I don't know. 
I don't, I don't, we don't have any translations at the moment, but wouldn't that be cool if we could translate this into every language so everyone could learn this seashell hack? <clears throat> yeah, Cassandra, don't you love these? Aren't they so pretty? So that's kind of, I kind of rotated it, but that's what's kind of coming. I don't know. It's a little, it's a little cluttered, but I like it. It looks like a mermaid's box, right? I think that's what we should call them, a mermaid box. Alex says, looks great. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, guys, do this at home and let us know how it turns out. Um, and it doesn't have to be beach season. You could do this any old time. Again, you don't have to uh, have just come from the beach. You can get these at the craft stores. Um, you can cover them in ribbons, which I think is super cute. Oh, Vinny's here. Hi, Vinny. Vinny says, wee wee. <laughs> Ow, I'm burning myself again. <laughs> This is dangerous, guys. Oh, yeah, Ziggy agrees. Totally should be called a mermaid box. I agree. I agree. All right. So we have some more space here with our pretty black shell and yellow shell here. Oh, JoLynn says, thanks. Well, got to go. Get ready for work. Y'all have fun. Stay safe. Bye, JoLynn. Have a good day at work. I uh, love you. I'll see you tomorrow, I hope, in the morning. Have a good day. Thank you for joining Oh, Vinny says, I'm telling you every day I find a new show. Vinny, I'm so glad. We love you so much. We cannot wait to have you on Slice. Are you still coming? Are you still going to make us sandwiches? I hope so, because I can't wait to try them. Oh, Judy says, perfect idea for collecting all of the little things. You get it? I have collected on my trip. Yeah, I think this is great, because you could just put it in a shoebox you could just, you know, put it in your regular memory box if you keep one. Ow! Ow! Uh, but I like this because it's beach themed. Oh, Judy says, thanks, love y'all too. Oh, Judy says, mahalo. What does that mean, Judy? You're in Hawaii, right? What, is, what does mahalo mean? Ooh, this is, I like this. I, I could sell this for five bucks, I think. Oh, Vinny says, I saw the news and had to get something positive and tuned in to little things and never fails. Vinny, you're wonderful. All right, what else should I do, guys? Tell me what I should do. Tell me how I should fill this out. Oh, Judy's saying mahalo means thank you. Is that right? Mahalo. You learn something new every day. Mahalo. That's a fun word. Patty says, I so love to see your sweet shows every day. All a blessing. Thanks. Patty, you're a blessing. I love you. Thank you for watching and not making fun of my terrible seashell box. Oh, Paul says I should sell it for $10. Ooh, Paul, thank you. <laughs> you want to buy it? I'm going to sell this to my husband. All right, do I have any more room, you guys? Any more suggestions? Oh, I can put one there. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, if you are just joining us, this is... A great way to preserve all your beach memories, to decorate an ugly old box you have, to keep your seashells on display after you get back from the beach, or if you just like shells and you live nowhere near the beach and you've never even been to one before, you can um, buy some at the craft store and just pop it on a box if you're just decorating your house beach themed. All right, here's some more shells. You guys let me know what you wanna see on this box. Ooh, Ziggy says, I would buy this mermaid box for at least 20. That's so sweet. Thank you, Ziggy. Let's get an auction going. <laughs> 25. Anyone got 25? <laughs> uh, Jennifer says, this is my first time. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm so glad that you joined us. Yeah, this is called Hands On. It is a weekly DIY show. We do a different thing every week, different hosts. Today is my turn, and I'm having a very good time. Oh, Gemma says that purple one is lovely. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I was almost, I was tempted to put it here instead of the red one, but I didn't. Um, so maybe I'll save that. We have a different shape box, so I'm gonna try that one next. Ooh, Paul says 35. All right, can I get 40? Can I get 40 for my beautiful seashell box? 40, 40, do I have a 40? <laughs> Guys, I have a new business idea. <laughs> I'm gonna quit my job at Little Things and make seashell boxes. What do you think? <laughs> Oh, Sony says 45. Ooh, can we get a 50? Do I see 50? Oh, Kara says 40. You missed it. You missed it, Kara. <laughs> Kathy says 50. Ooh, do I have 55? Do I see 55? Are you supposed to go up by a dollar? <laughs> Am I increasing it too much? <laughs> oh, 
Nana says, or Nana, I'm not sure. My mom had similar to this. You brought a beautiful memory back to me. That is so wonderful. I'm so glad we, we could bring back a nice memory for you. Yeah, it's funny how those little things kind of stick out in your memory. Um, just, just little objects that you, you probably haven't thought of in a million, million years. And then one day you see it and it just comes right back to you. Uh, it's, it's a great thing about life, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, Paul says 57,000 American dollars. Ooh, guys, I don't know. I think he just blew all of you out of, Paul, that's not how you auction. <laughs> you can't, it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> Gemma says, I'll give you six. You guys, this is sweet. I want to see you guys do this, though, because I'm always kind of getting after my mom and saying, you know, you should you should make some things and do crafts. And she says, no, no, I'm not crafty. Cassie, I can't do anything. You can do anything, okay? You can do anything you put your minds to, and this is a lot of fun. Judy says, it is priceless when made from the heart. I agree. Yeah, if I was making this from the heart, putting some love on here, can I still open it though? Yes, I can. Look at that. So I still have room up here. So let's pop on some more. Judy, I missed your response about Mahalo. I saw you, you explained to me the full term. I'm going to try to see if I can find that comment. Oh, look at this pretty orange one. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? I have to put that on my next one. Oh, Noha says, how about trying to put underneath the box? I can only probably do inside. That's probably the best I could do. But I kind of want to leave room for storage, right? Oh, Gail says, cute for a Bible school project. This is a, that's a really good idea. Bible school would be a lot of fun. They'd have a good time. Just be careful with um, glue guns and, and kids. You know that. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, Patty says, we always brought back nature treasures home as a reminder of our wonderful family adventure. I think my mom did it to keep us busy, too. Yeah, it's like, it, you're not only capturing really sweet memories, but you're keeping the kids occupied. It's good, clean fun. It's nice and safe. Good for rainy days. Um, and I think they'll really like making it their own because you can customize this however you see fit. Ah, oh, I love it. This is fun. I'm having a good time. Are you guys having fun? Oh, that's cute. Heidi says, use sand and shells from vacation destinations. Insert a picture inside the lid or use outside along with your shell border. That is a fantastic idea. Yeah, you could put, ow! Oh my gosh! Guys, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I keep hurting myself, but that, you know, sometimes you have to hurt to make beautiful things. Um, but yeah, you could put a picture here in, and then kind of frame it with seashells. That would be super cute. Oh, Judy, okay, yeah, you said mahalo means thank you, mahalo for sharing this project. Judy, well, mahalo for watching, and mahalo for teaching me a nice new word. Uh, I love learning new things. It is so much fun. Uh, oh, Cassandra says, I love doing crafts. To Cassie, it's in our blood. Don't know how you spell your Cassandra. Yeah, I spell mine differently than you. I spell it the way you just spelled it. That's perfect. All right, I think I'm filled up. What do you guys think? I'm going to try it in a different shape box, though, okay, so don't go away. I have some room, but I'm going to try it now on this box. You guys want to watch me do it all over again? So this one is different because it's, um, it's kind of like treasure chest shaped, right? So it's kind of rounded on top. It's a little different, so we have a different surface area, okay? So, I'm gonna get that one out of my way. But that one, if anybody wants my box, let me know and I, I'll ask if I can send it to you. I'd really like to mail you my, uh, my seashell box. All right, which color do you guys think I should put on top? Hmm? Oh, Morgan says, my aunt gave me lots of seashells before she passed and now I know what to do with them, Morgan. That's, well, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for your loss, but I think this is a great way to preserve all of those seashells, right? Put them on display. Don't keep them tucked away in a box. Um, I th yeah, that's a great idea, and you know they won't get damaged. All right, so what color do you guys want? I think I'm gonna go this, this orange here, right? All right, yep, Gemma says orange shell on top, please. All right. So we are putting this orange shell right on top for Gemma. You guys have, I think it'd be fun, you guys wanna build it with me? 
Let me, can you guys see? Ow, oh, okay, so this is rounded, so that means it, it has definitely a different um, surface area, so it's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, Bonnie says the big purple, orange, and red on the back. You mean the back, like the top? You wanna you do it like this, Bonnie? Do you like that? I think that's pretty, should I do that? Oh, Cassandra says, I will take the box, Cassie. Oh, I hope I can give it to you. That would be so much fun. Yeah, but I hope you make your own too on top of it. All right, so I'm gonna put this purple one here. I'm gonna, th which one do you like better? You like this red or this red? They're kind of both the same. I'm gonna do that red. All right. So guys, if you like the show, you should tune in. We do this every week every Wednesday at 1 p.m. One time we did arm knitting. We had a Little Things employee, Becca Ryder, did a, a arm knitting, which was super fun. Um, so yeah, you guys should tune in, because we do a lot of fun crafts. Uh, Tatana says, when I was younger, every time we went on holiday, those boxes were selling with all types of seashells. So beautiful. Sometimes there's a mirror inside or postcards. I remember that for me. This is like you turn the clock back for a few years. Thank you for that. That is such a wonderful comment. I'm glad we could bring back some happy memories for you. Ooh, this one's big. I don't think that one's gonna stick. Should I try? I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> give it a shot. Yeah, it's funny how memories can come flooding back. Yeah. But a mirror inside is a really good idea. Ooh, is it gonna stick? I don't know. Oh, Judy says, I'm becoming mesmerized with this project. Definitely relaxing. That's good. I like to hear that. Yeah, it is relaxing. I'm going to put a new glue stick in. There we go. Okay, yeah, you're going to run out of glue sticks, so keep those on hand. Mar uh, Marlin says, this is so cool. Would love one. Marlin, you should make one. It's so much fun. All right, so I'm literally going to do just anything now, you guys. Okay, we're going to stick that on there. Are you going to stick? Yes. So the only thing is you have to be kind of delicate with these once you've made it, right? Because uh, if they get hit or knocked, uh, very easy for the shells to pop right off. So be very gentle. Okay. Ooh, Dina, I would put sand in it and make a zen garden. That's a really good idea. Ooh, look at this pretty conch. Can you guys see this pretty conch? Let's see. I don't know if these are gonna stick. Mm-hmm. This is so much fun though. Again, guys, if you're just tuning in, ow, ow. <laughs> I keep hot gluing myself. Um, I'm not a craft expert by any means whatsoever. Uh, I just like crafts, and uh, but this is really for anyone. Oh, Patty says you are a sweetheart. Thank you, Patty, you're a sweetheart. I love meeting you guys and, and helping you learn fun new things. Oh, Cassandra says use the the pink snail shell. Ooh, this one? Yeah, this one's pretty. I did one over there, but I'll do the. Ooh, thank you. I'm getting more shells for my producer, Kathy. Yay. She's like a shell fairy. <laughs> oh, Vinny says that's a serious glue gun. I know, right? This is intense. And it is burning my fingers, let me tell you. Ooh, these are gorgeous. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful conch shell. Now, guys, remember that when you go to the beach. Ooh, thank you, Kathy. These are lovely. Um, when you go to the beach and you're collecting seashells, just always make sure that they're empty inside. Look for the conch. Make sure there's no conch inside. If it is, just put it back. Put it back on the beach. Um, check sand dollars to make sure they are no longer living um, because we want to be kind to nature. Paul has a saying. How does it go? Um, leave footprints and only take pictures. Is that how it goes, Paul? Which I think is a really sweet way to put it. Oh, and Judy says, you don't have to be an expert, just use your imagination. That is exactly right, Judy. I totally agree. Just use your imagination and kind of let the shells, you know, show you where to put them, right? Because their shapes are all different. So they'll kind of lead the way. Ooh, ooh, more unicorn horns. This is my favorite. Oh, and Paul says, yes, I did get that phrase right. Thanks for watching, Paul. <laughs> I didn't know you were still here. Morgan says, I love this box. Thank you, Morgan. You should do this. Ooh, these are so cool. Oh, more unicorn horns. Look how magical. Aren't they pretty? Thank you, Kathy. All right, guys, any other requests for where? Oh, I like this one. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let me know, guys, what other ideas do you have? How would you use your seashells? What colors would you paint this? I want to get inspired. I want you guys to inspire yourselves. Go do a craft tonight with kids, without kids. Do whatever your heart tells you. And let me know, what do you guys like to do? Do you like watercoloring or stained glass windows or anything? Oh, Pamela's asking what type of box is being used. So Pamela, this is just, this is from a craft store. It's kind of like just a plain pine box, um, which you should be able to find just about anywhere. But um, you can probably use any box, I would imagine. You just have to keep in mind the surface of the boxes. This is rounded. Um, so it's a little trickier. You have to be really delicate with this top here because uh, because it, it, it's sticking out so much. I don't know if you guys can see like how three-dimensional it, it is. <laughs> so just be careful not to knock it on your shelf. Uh, Sandra says that she collects seashells. Well, Sandra, I think this is definitely what you should do with yours. Uh, yeah, it's just a great project. Maritza, that's a pretty name, says it's so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Patty says, what a sweet husband you have. I know, I, I really am very blessed to have Paul. I really am. I don't forget it ever. Oh, Patty, that's a really good idea. You can use picture frames also. That's a super good idea, Patty. Picture frames are a great idea. All right, let's see. So should I decorate? Do I have any other things I should do, guys? More unicorn horns? I really like unicorn horns. do this with a movie going in the background that would be nice just like a calm relaxing oh and like a girls night maybe or a guys night you know uh, anyone can make seashell boxes um yeah you could do this with some wine or some ice cream oh my gosh Vinny what <laughs> Vinny says the love is in the air a baby might be coming Vinny don't even start I don't know if you saw my interview with Chip but he uh he says that I'm expecting a baby soon. I don't know, guys. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to stick this on here. Will it stick? Yes. Yes, it did, kind of. Oh, Gemma says, or mirrors, Patty. Yeah, that's a really good idea. You can get a plain mirror from, like, a dollar store or the craft store and decorate it with seashells. That would be super cute. Oh, Thelma wants more purple, please. Thelma, let me get you some purple. Hold tight. Here we go. Purple just for you. This purple shell is for Thelma. There we go. All right, so these are really tricky, these clamshells, because again, very little surface area. Um, and this glue is very hot, as we've learned. So here, I'm gonna stick. Oh, Patty says she has done mirrors. Oh, Barbara, yeah, that's a good idea. Barbara says put smaller shells in the gap. So I don't have too many teeny tiny shells, but that would be good. This is probably the smallest I have. But yeah, if you have tiny conks or tiny clam shells, I'm kind of supplementing with pearls where I don't have tiny shells. I'm kind of popping in a pearl because I don't like those, those empty spaces either. Uh-huh. Oh, Morgan says, my cousin lives in Hawaii. I'm going to have her send me more seashells. Yeah, you have a cousin in Hawaii? You are lucky. My cousins are, are in Virginia. <laughs> There's any peanuts, I guess. All right, so I'm going to stick this here. I really love these unicorn horns. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Carolyn says blue or yellow. I don't have either of those colors. I do, however, have this beautiful, beautiful conch shell. Isn't that lovely? All right, so I'm going to pop that. Where can I put it? I'm going to put it right here in the back. I should have put it on the top. I would do it. I would do that if I could do it all over again. But, you know, just like in life, no regrets. Uh, oh, Cassandra says you can get tiny mirrors and you can put it on the box. That would be cute, very reflective. I think that would stick with the mermaid box theme. I think that would be beautiful. I feel like mermaids would definitely love shiny things, right? All right, and pop this conch. This is a massive conch shell. I don't know. Oh, hot glue will hold anything. That's amazing. Okay, so let's see. Oh, nope, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. All right, you good? Nope, come on, little buddy. Come on. Come on. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna move on. Another unicorn horn, because why not? Yeah, I wanna know though, how many of you guys are actually gonna do this? 
I really, really hope you do because I am having a blast. This is a lot of fun. Oh, Judy, that's interesting. She says, unfortunately, most of the shells are gone from Oahu beaches, but you can buy them at the swap meet or craft store. Judy, why are the shells gone from Oahu? Why? Oh, Morgan says she's gonna do it. Oh, you should send us a picture when it's done. I'm gonna put some more pearls on here. Jennifer says, I will. I hope you guys do. I hope you do, because this is a lot of fun. Like I said though, this doesn't have to be from a beach trip. This can be for any old time, because um, I know I don't get to go to the beach a lot, right? Not all of us are, are that fortunate. Uh, Gemma says, I will, honey. <laughs> Morgan says, I will do. Tina says, I am. Oh, guys, I really hope you do. Just don't burn yourself like I am with this hot glue gun. What is going on with me? I've used them before. I think I've never touched a hot glue gun before. All right. So you guys keep giving me advice. Keep telling me where you'd like to see some shells or some pearls or how else you would use uh, your mermaid box. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what I've unofficially dubbed it, just so you know. Uh-huh. Here's another pretty conch shell. Let's give that a shot. Will you stick? Will you stick? Oh, yeah, Barbara says glue the bare spots and sprinkle the sand. Oh, Judy, that's sad. She says on Oahu Beach, uh, maybe the tourists have taken too many. Tourists can get greedy. Yeah, guys, it's really important. It's, you know, I think a lot of us, uh, and I've done it before. I'm, I'm sorry to say that I have. I've gone to the beach and probably taken home things that I shouldn't because um, it's easy to forget that it's it's an environment, right? It's a, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, I really burnt myself that time. <laughs> okay. Be really careful. Um, probably don't host a show while you're doing this because you will burn yourself. <laughs> um, okay, what was I saying? Yeah, so a uh, beach is a natural environment, right? It's like an ecosystem and everything's in perfect balance and uh, it's easy to, to take things just because you want to keep the memories, but be really careful and remember that this is where animals live all the time. We visit just once in a while, uh, but they live there all the time and we want to respect our beaches, right? Is that too preachy? I'm sorry. I just really care about animals. I do. Patty says you can buy cooler glue guns. I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> uh, Morgan says I will send pictures. I'm going to have my nieces help when I babysit. Ooh, that's a really good idea. Uh, Thelma says I don't get out, so I'm enjoying watching you. I would love the one you're making, though. Thelma, I will give this to you if I can. <laughs> if the producers let me, I would love to send this to you, Thelma. Um, and you know, sometimes you don't have to get out too far. Just a walk around the block or the walk to the mailbox. Or just sit on the porch if you can. Um, Gemma says, can we have a look at the shells on the table, please, to help you choose? Yeah, here, let me pull some more into the shot here. You see? There's a big black one here. But yeah, this is a great, great project. Arts and crafts project. Oh, that one's really pretty. Uh, oh yeah, Barbara says, be careful where you put the shells. You won't be able to open the box. I agree. Yeah, you have to be really, really careful. Um, mm -hmm. I really hurt my thumb, you guys. Cassandra says, I think I will. Many, uh, many get my woman's club to do it for their monthly craft. That's a good idea. Morgan says, the pink one. There's a few pink ones, but I'm gonna, this one, is that one okay, Morgan? Oh man, I burnt my thumb. <laughs> So this is a good lesson. So you know, with DIY projects and with this show, it's not just learning how to make something, it's learning how to not make something. And uh, <laughs> a good tip is, be careful with hot glue guns, because they're hot. <laughs> oh boy, all right, what other uh, suggestions, guys? I like this one, but that is too big. I'm not gonna get that to fit. Uh, let's see, let's see, am I getting too picky? So it's easy to get into your heads with craft projects, right? And you get a little too analytical, you get a little too detailed, and then sometimes you lose sight, right? And the important part is to remember to have fun. It's not always about making it perfect. It's just about doing it. And that is something that I struggle with sometimes because I get a little too anal, I get a little too perfectionist. 
<laughs> Dina is sending me little ambulances. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Be careful, guys. Morgan says you're doing a great job. I so love it. Thank you. Thanks, Morgan. Patty says loving your show. Thanks. Yeah, this is a really fun show. It's new. I think this is our third episode. Um, but you can find us on Little Things or on Facebook uh, every week, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And sometimes we have experts, and sometimes we don't, like me. <laughs> uh, Bonnie says, on the top side part, use the sor unicorn shell and pearl. I think I just did that. Bonnie, did I just do it? I think I just did exactly, how did I know? I think Chip rubbed off on me. Did someone just bring me an ice pack? Who, you guys, Peter and Paul just brought me an ice pack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> Is, you see what they did? They even wrapped it for me. Thank you, guys. <laughs> this DIY show has taken a turn <laughs> in first aid care. My thumb is really hurting, though. So thank you, Paul and Peter. Very sweet gentlemen. Oh, Morgan says, I'm following y'all now. Thank you, Morgan. We have a lot of fun shows. I'm going to set my... Um, um, my little ice pack to the side so I can keep making this for you guys. Don't worry, I'm okay. They're just very sweet boys. So that's Paul, our editor-in-chief. Er, no, not our editor-in-chief, that's Maya. He's our editor-at-large. And um, Peter is our wonderful production assistant. And we have Steve in here, our production assistant. Takes a lot of wonderful people to make these shows, so. All right, what else, guys? What else, what else? Do I have any room? Okay, yes, I have room. Always I have room. Uh -huh. This is a lot of fun, though. Having a good time. I'm scared of these, <laughs> these pearls now. Oh, Dina says they jumped off the ambulance I sent. Dina, did you send me the ice pack? You're so sweet. I love you guys. All right, I'm trying to find room. Trying to find some room. Right. <laughs> Gemma is laughing at Dina. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try some more pearls, but I'm not gonna burn myself this time, okay? I promise, I can't keep that promise. Oh, Bonnie, that's a really good, wow, I've never heard of that. Bonnie says that you have sour cream, it works on burns. I learned that at a Mexican restaurant. Bonnie, I'm gonna put my thumb in some sour cream tonight. And unless you're, <laughs> unless you're pranking me, I, I hope it helps. <laughs> but that's a really good tip. So good, good lesson to learn. If you're hot gluing seashells to a box and you burn yourself, keep some sour cream on hand. Okay. I'm really scared of these pearls now, guys. I really burnt my finger to death. Okay, what else can I do here? But yeah, guys, like I was saying, the important part is to have fun a really great way to preserve all your beach memories. Uh, Cassandra says tasty. Yeah, then you can just lick it off, right? Much better than other burnt oint burn ointments. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, guys, if you have any other suggestions for what sh which shells to use, let me know. I don't have much room left, but I guess I could do inside. What do you think? Should I do it? Oh, Bonnie says, no, it really works. I trust you. I'll, I'll try it out tonight. Morgan says the pink and white one. Okay, so this is interesting to note. If you put a lot of heavy seashells on top, it has a hard time staying open. Okay, so it kind of like, you're gonna have to hold it and support it. So this isn't a very practical box, but it is a pretty one. <laughs> so um, so yeah, let's see. Should I, should I put some in here or is it silly? What do you guys think? What do you think? Oh, Jill says it's really cute. I love beach themed items. Be careful. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Yeah, if you love the beach, even if you don't live by one, even if you haven't visited one in a while, um, this is just a great decor idea. Just be careful of the opening here. You gotta make sure the clasp um, stays clear so you can still open it. All right. Oh yeah, and so uh, another thing you can do um, instead of the wooden boxes is you can decorate 
a glass jar. And so here you have some chalkboard paint where you can fill it with anything. It means you can change it out. So you can put spices in here or you can put, I don't know, what else would you put? Um, some sand from the trip. That would be really cute. Write sand on here. Put the sand inside from the beach that you visited. And then we can glue some shells right on it. So let's see. What's a good, ooh, that was cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, Patty says, yeah, use ribbons on the inside as hinges. Yeah, you can definitely use ribbons if you want. Uh, like I said, you can paint, you can use glitter, you can, what else could you do? Um, twine, twine would be cute, very like rustic, very beachy. Uh, let's see, which is a good shape for this? So yeah, it is a little bit like Tetris. You gotta kind of plan it out. Don't plan it out too much, have fun, but you gotta think it through a little just because the shapes of the objects and the shells. Uh, yeah, Morgan says you could fill it up with seashells. Mm -hmm. You could, yeah. You could fill this with your little trinkets if you didn't collect too many, your little tickets or whatever you saw at the beach. Ooh, this one's really interesting. So this is, you had to clear the clasp though. Again, guys, be really mindful of the clasps as you're doing this um, because you don't want to make the box or the jar unusable, right? All right, so let's see if this will stick. Probably not, I don't see this sticking. So glass is very different. Glass is very different than the wood box because I think it doesn't have any uh, grains or anything to kind of soak into, so that's not working. That's okay, that's okay. We're gonna find another shell that will. Will you work? Maybe. Let's see, we're making it up as we go, guys. That's okay. Oh, Patty says sometimes less is better. Yeah, I agree. You can go really simple with this and just keep it very minimal. That's cute. Okay, so what other shell do I have for this side? I'll do another little spirally guy. I like these guys. They're cute. Oh yeah, Judy says this would be nice on a plain vase. I agree. So yeah, there you can, and then you can put pearls on this if you want to. Write on here whatever you fill it up with. Um, again, not incredibly practical, but uh, I think very pretty, especially if you like beach decor. Um, so that's it, guys. What, what else could you fill this up with? Oh, Gemma says, bye-bye all. Going to have my dinner. Good luck, honey, finishing it off. Gemma, have a very good dinner. Chew your food very well. I hope you enjoy it. Send us this cute idea. Yeah, this is, I think it's super cute. Um, but guys, yeah, if you enjoyed this craft, uh, be sure to come back every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Um, they do really cute crafts, all different people, all different ideas, so that it's kind of on rotation. Uh, oh, Gemma says, love you all. We love you, Gemma. See you soon. Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot of fun. You learn a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, we've done arm knitting. We did making felt animals once. That was super cool. Um, so yeah. Be sure to tune in, guys. But there, I think I'm done. What do you think? Is that good? I don't really have any room for any other shells. Yeah, so you could write some, uh, write on your chalkboard paint here. And it's a good time. And what a cute way to keep memories, keep some hands busy on rainy days. Just be careful of the glue gun. <laughs> but yeah, these are my finished products. What do you guys think? Hmm? I like it. It's a little, it's a little much, but I love it. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. Uh, I had so much fun with you today. I learned a lot. Uh, what's the word, Judy? Mahalo. Oh, I shoot it. Mahalo. Mahalo? Did I mention? Mahalo. Yeah, mahalo for watching. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I love you all, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.